If you're new to Control Surface Studio and you've created a script, when you've tried to add it to Ableton Live, it's not shown in the Control Surface menu options. There's a couple of reasons why this could be happening. And in this video, I'm going to take you through these reasons and how to fix them. So I've got Ableton open here. If I open my Control Surface menu and scroll down, Control Surface Studio prefixes all script names with CSS. So you'll see them in this part of the menu. So you can see that I've got these scripts here, which all have CSS and then the name of the script. And I'm looking for a script called CSS Broken Script, which if I go over to Control Surface Studio, this is my script, broken script. And then it should be installed, but it's not there. So as I mentioned, there's two common reasons why scripts might not be showing in Ableton Live. The first reason is the script might be being installed to the wrong location. So what you can do to check that is open the CSS settings menu at the top and then make sure that you've set the Ableton Live location to the correct, to the correct version of Ableton that you're using. So you can set that by just clicking browse and setting that. And when you set that, the MIDI remote script folder location will automatically update to the correct MIDI remote script folder for that version of Ableton. But you can also change that manually if you need to, if that isn't correct. So just double check that. So if this is all correct and you've installed the script but it's still not showing after closing and reopening Ableton if it's still not showing in the control surface list. The next thing to check is are there any errors in the script? So control surface studio monitors the Ableton log.txt file and if you have any errors in the script you'll see a small red dot appear next to the log menu and if you open that you'll see some errors appear. As you can see I've got some errors shown here and if I take a look at this error you can see where it says file the name of the error ring script is here so CSS broken script line 1131 so I know that there's an error in my MIDI remote script. But you need to double check that you're monitoring the correct log.txt file. So check that you've set the live version correctly. And Ableton does, I don't know if it's the same with everyone, but for me, Ableton will do automatic updates in the background. So you might not realize, but Ableton may have updated to a new version without you realizing. So that would mean that Control Surface Studio is monitoring the wrong log.txt file. So at the moment I've got it set to 11.2.7. If I go over to Ableton, open the live menu and then click about live. You can see the version I'm using is 11.2.7, so that's correct. And just to show you, currently I've got the red dot shown, which means there's an error in the script. But if I was to switch this to a different version of Ableton, the red dot has disappeared and the error messages that were in the log have disappeared. So if I switch that back. You can see that they're now showing again. So that is really important. So just make sure that if you do run into this situation that you check this. You can also set the log.txt location manually, but we don't need to do that. Um, the Python version should automatically set as well. And you can see 
with the tooltip next to it what version of Python you should be compiling the code with. So now everything's set up correctly. I know that there's an error in my script. So if you're new to Control Surface Studio and this is your first script, we recommend that you keep your script as simple as possible until you get everything working correctly. So at the moment I've got a bunch of mappings in here. Something is causing an error. And what you can do as well is if you are experiencing an error, you can copy the error message. You can just highlight it and copy it. And then you can post in the forum on remotify.io or you can send us a email via the contact form on the remotify.io website. And we can help you out with that. But the best approach is to just start with one mapping essentially. So I'm going to delete all the mappings that are in this script and then I'll just add one. So I'll add a mode and then I'll just add a highlight navigation and I'll set that as a scroll to a knob on my MIDI fighter twister. And I'll just clear this. It's also important to, if you're getting a lot of error messages in your log to keep it clear because that can slow down the Control Surface Studio app because it's monitoring the log.txt file constantly. So just hit that clear log button every now and again. So I'll just install that into Ableton and then I'll Close and reopen Ableton. So now if I go to the preferences menu and I check for my script, CSS broken script is now there. And when I added it, a little message appeared at the bottom to say that the script is activated. And now everything should be working. Just double check the log. No mess error messages have appeared, so we should be okay. Now if I turn the knob, you can see that the highlight navigation mapping is working. So the script is now working as it should. And I can go back into Control Surface Studio and start adding some more mappings. I'm playing around and building on this script and then just installing and testing everything. Okay, that's it for this video. As I mentioned, if you do run into error messages in your scripts, you can post a forum topic in the community forum on remotify.io or you can send an email via the contact form also on the website. Okay, that's it. Thank you.